Hey all, it's Rach from Spiritual Energetic Guidance. I'm here to do the reading for Leo for the month of October 2020. I've actually, I've already done this reading and then I went to upload it and I lost it. So I have to redo it. I can't find it anywhere. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, if you are new to my page, thanks for watching and um, welcome. And if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for your support. Um, I'm going to be doing some tarot, then we'll do some oracle. Um, time is fluid. Uh, don't forget energy can be vice versa. If it does resonate, please like, share and subscribe. If it doesn't, that's fine. It's not going to suit every Leo out there. Okay, let's start. Leo. This time I'll make sure I actually upload it properly. Leo. So what was last, oh, oh, and then I just dropped all my cards. I wanted to see what last month, last month for Leo was, I wrote them down, was about moving on and doing work on you. So, yeah, definitely interesting to see what this reading shows compared to the one that I did yesterday. October. Okay, Leo for October. That's my actual thing. Leo for October. They're all trying to jump out. Leo for October 2020. Leo. interesting so it does look like the reading is going in the same way as the one from yesterday which is good so the one that i did yesterday just so you're aware was about um i was going to call it keep your heart open because love is just around the corner so, yeah, I guess that's pretty much where it's going now, which is good. So, okay, so the first one you've got is about firm foundations. And that's the same, um, talks about um, you want that long-term security. You want that firm foundation um, you possibly are saving money um, as well, but you do want that firm foundation. You possibly are resisting change for some of you as well. But yeah, it's more about wanting that wanting that firm, found, firm foundation. Okay, let's ask Leo firm foundation. So you're possibly just dissatisfied with what you've got at the moment um, as well. And you're wanting the nine of cups, the wishes coming true. You are wanting that, but at the moment you're dissatisfied with what you what's going on. Um, you've got nine of wands as well. Um, so you know, maybe go and have some adventure. You know, it's about taking action to get what it is that you want. Sometimes you've got to be a bit of a risk taker as well. Um, yeah, just to get what you want. Then, oh, and on the bottom you've got the six of coins in reverse. So it's about taking taking care of you at the moment. It could possibly be also about debts. Maybe you actually have to pay back some debts. <clears throat> then we've got, I don't know whether someone's not speaking their truth. It would be interesting to see. Um, then we've got spiritual strength as well. And in reverse. So... That's all about um, your inner resources. It's a, you're feeling overwhelmed, possibly defensive, um, closed-minded. Let's ask spiritual strength. I mean, you've got here Prince Charming. Could be princess, prince, whatever suits you, but it's about a Prince Charming as such. It's about romance. It's about following your heart. Um, so... <clears throat> so it's like you feel overwhelmed 
maybe you're a bit closed minded because you think I'm not going to get what it is I want. But then you've got this, um, you've got to follow your heart because, you know, and be maybe a bit more adventurous, get out of your comfort zone um, because there is romance coming. And you've got the Seven of Wands, which is about persevering and, you know, standing your ground with something. You might be in competition maybe because, you know, maybe you're just keeping your options open or someone else is keeping their options open. Um, just be aware of that. But, yeah, you might feel a bit defensive, but you've got to persevere. I mean, it's new. Maybe this thing's new. It's a Prince Charming coming. Um, and then... You've got the base chakra. So the base chakra is all about your daily uh, needs to survive. So it can be, you know, security, survival, money, safety, shelter, you know, all those things. Um, but it's all about honoring your body. So whatever's happening on the outside is happening on the inside. So that's about your daily your needs that you need to survive tell me about the base chakra the leo three of swords yeah that's not good and the seven of cups so I mean, the reading I did yesterday is a day later. Maybe something's changed, but you've got Three of Swords. We'll start with that. It's a horrible card, I'm going to be honest. Three of Swords is about heartbreak. It can be betrayal. It can be, as I said, maybe someone, maybe you have a page of cups to start with. Maybe you meet this, maybe, maybe someone comes in. This could describe someone you've been through already. So that's why you're worried about your base, your base chakra, your sustenance money shelter blah 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 maybe you were with somebody that did this to you it possibly was a divorce it's you know being cheated on jealousy emotional pain or you maybe you're just feeling very depressed maybe that's all it is you know what I mean take from this card whatever's going on in your life it could have happened already or you maybe you are just feeling down and depressed about what's going on maybe you're just thinking back and about the you know that past relationship and just Maybe that's what that was. Maybe that was a past thing or it could be coming up. Then you've got the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is somebody who has too many choices. They've possibly got commitment commitment issues. Um, it can also be uh, indecision as well. On the bottom of the deck, you've got Temperance in reverse, which is about imbalance and doing some self-healing so that you have self-love and all that kind of thing as well. Um, you might be the kind of person that is a nurturing person, compassionate. You possibly are a mother, but it's a supportive kind of person as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you've got hope. You're moving on. You're forgiving whatever's happened in the past. That's all there. But on the bottom of this one, You've got the Two of Cups, which is all about romantic love, partnership, romance, marriage, mutual attraction, compatibility, all those things. And you've got the Lover's Card, which is love, a relationship, you know. So it's like doubly wham, bam, right there. It's you've got, you've got love and you've got love, you know what I mean? So love is coming. It's maybe, as I said, this maybe this sword sword person. I mean, maybe you have commitment issues, maybe due due to having that relationship with somebody who did that to you. Maybe that's why you have the base chakra problems, and then it's just telling you that this is love is coming. And it's a soulmate. That's a soulmate card. So you've got a you've got you've got love coming. I guess keep. Keep hold of that. Um, yeah, love is coming. Which is pretty much keep your heart open because love is around the corner. That's, yeah, that was what my, I was going to call this spread last time. So I might just call it the same because there is love. 
soulmate love. Here we go. Yeah, look. Spiritual partnership. Like, yeah. And you, but you've got to persevere. You've got perseverance. So persevere. Like, you might get down and depressed and be up in your head. Um, learn from whatever you have been through, though. Learn from maybe that Three of Swords experience, if that's what you've been through. As I said, that could be describing a situation, you know. Or it could just be that you're feeling depressed about what has happened or you're still feeling the pain from what happened. It could be that even. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be that you're currently going through that. Okay, Leo. Leo for October. So you've got crossroads in reverse. You need some self-love because that's in reverse. You feel current feel like maybe you don't have that, have that currently. Um, but yeah, you need you definitely need some self love. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so we're reading crossroads, crossroads at the moment. So this one's all about crossroad, being at a crossroad. Maybe now you're over the crossroad because it's reverse um, protection and transmutation. So um, you know it's about you. You've had to make a choice, but it looks like you've made the choice now. Um, which I guess happened last month when you had to make a choice. Maybe now you've all made a choice, Leo, for most of you or some of you. But um, it's like um, if you're ever at a crossroad, for those people that are still at the crossroad, meditate, picture yourself, you know, walking up to that crossroad, look at the different options, picture yourself seeing those options on the road and, you know, do you feel a specific pull between, you know, a road a or road b you know like try to figure out which one you feel the the pull towards or do you or do you get the sense of no i don't want to walk down that road i want to go a because i feel like something's going to happen with b follow trust your intuition and follow it you know um it's like your feelings are the compass to tell you which which road to take you know um or if you feel happy or joy or whatever regarding one of the roads take that so follow the pool, see where it takes you because your intuition is always right. So, um, but yeah, this stone that they're talking about, um, it's very grounding and um, yeah, maybe, I mean, now you've made, you've already made, I guess it's just telling you, you've already made the decision, like you made the choice. That's what that is. You've made the choice. You progressed from last month, for sure. And for those of you that still need to make the choice, it's telling you you need to make the choice. Okay, here we go. October 2020. Here we go. Ooh, you got chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. And on the bottom, you've got lemon. Access innovative thinking. Ooh, they sound all right. Um, so we'll start with the, uh, which one are we going to start with? We'll start with lemon. So <clears throat> that's the one on the bottom of the deck, which is all about accessing innovative thinking. So the yellow that lemon yellow, it's all about warmth, inspiration and intellect and it's fueling the brain, assisting you to think clearly, make empowering decisions, boost your memory. It can help with like study, reading, learning, writing, all those things. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe you need to just change the way you think possibly through whatever situations you're going through. You just kind of picture yellow and um Picture that, you know, around your brain area because it's all about that area. Um, and, yeah, maybe just change the way you look at things. Maybe that's what it's telling you. And you've got chocolate as well. And, I mean, the food looks looks delicious in the picture. Look at that. I'm not even a big chocolate fan, but sometimes I do get cravings, probably because I'm lactose. But, <clears throat> anyway, um, chocolate. So chocolate 
I'll put it this way so you can see it. So chocolate is all about what connects, the color is about what connects us to the earth. So it's about healthy boundaries. It encourages structure. Um, it enables you to gain deeper insights and growth because you can have access to whatever shadow side you have. It can also provide you with nourishment and resilience. It can um, nourish your body and soul. You know, maybe um, think about how you can nourish yourself more. Maybe that's what it's about and loving yourself. But yeah, maybe you need to find out how to nourish your, your body more possibly. Take some time for you. Sit down with your cup of coffee or hot chocolate or whatever and have some chocolate, whatever it is. Just take some time for you. Leo. Yeah, you've got to work on your self-confidence and your self-love. You've got transformation, certainty, confidence in reverse. <clears throat> but you've got the start of something new. Look, flame tree, the start of something new. Something new is coming. And look, you've even got seduction, deceit, a broken promise, and it's in reverse. It's like this is, this is not going to happen. You, you've, you've got past that. There's no lying. There's no being deceitful, you're moving past that. Maybe that's what you had in the past for some of you. Yeah, look, endings bring new beginnings, but it's going to take a bit of time. <clears throat> Maybe someone needs to speak their truth because my throat is being weird again. Um, <clears throat> so... You've got healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And it's like you currently are still doing that work. So it's not completely done. You're still healing. Um, you have like a cassette player where maybe you used to think about things, replay things over in your head. You're moving on from that. Um, you're not like like stalking them or watching them, all that kind of thing. It's in reverse. <clears throat> but, I mean, as I said, I think you need to change the way you look at things because you've got perception as well. I think you need to change the way you look at things. Um, put up your boundaries. You might still be hurt, as I said. I don't think you're completely done with being over that, that hurt. Um, but, yeah, go and have fun because there's something passionate coming. It can also be about doing something creative and something fun for you. That you enjoy. Okay, Leo. You might see things in your dreams, but maybe you're not paying attention to them. Um, you get messages and signs and things in that in your dreams. Uh, some of us and creativity look it's reverse as I said do something fun that you enjoy and take back your own power because every storm brings a fresh new beginning so know that it's it's gonna change you just need to have courage and do some you know relaxation and take some time just to relax and you know enjoy yourself it's pretty much the same as the chocolate just take some time to nourish yourself and yeah Leo. Leo. So what's on the bottom? Inner authority. Oh, that's about taking back your own power. you got to take that and listen to your intuition, desires, feelings, anything you get. <clears throat> oh, my God, my throat. Maybe go and have a massage. Talks about massage, receiving massage and self-care treatments. As I said, it's about nourishing your body. Now, just saying, I actually do massage as well, just relaxation but or hot stone, but, you know, I've got to advertise myself while I'm on it. And it's also about um, asking for some increased energy. Maybe you need to do something to get some increased energy. 
change the diet, do some exercise, all that kind of thing. But yeah, increased energy. Yeah, you've got to put up boundaries. Protect your heart. Put up some boundaries. And look, you've got personal power again. And have some unconditional love. Three piles that are not equal at all. Okay, Leo. Oh, we had a couple come flying. Um, it's about knowing, having self worth, and knowing just how powerful you are. How I guess they they use the word brilliant. You are like it's about shining, letting yourself like shine that light out to attract good things, raising your vibration to attract good things. And for some of you, your mum might be not with us or grandma. It can be grandma as well. Um, but they're letting you know they're just thinking about you. Um, and you've got gratitude for the others. Look, hello from heaven. I mean, they're giving you signs and synchronicities possibly as well, possibly the dreams as well, just to kind of let you know they're with you or they're guiding you. Obviously, that won't be for everybody. It would just be for specific people. Maybe they needed to hear that. <clears throat> okay, Leo. Yeah. Maybe you're going back and forth in your head. Like you've made the decision. You've made the choice. Maybe some of you haven't. Maybe you're still going back and forth. Others of you, you have made the choice, but you still are in your head. Um, maybe back and forth with, it doesn't mean with people. It can mean back and forth just with decisions, back and forth with, you know, whatever. It can be back and forth, just back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I. Um, and it's about making, getting out there and making some new connections with people like-minded people um maybe do something creative that will raise your vibration you can meet new people like-minded people if you're interested in going to the gym you can meet people that are going to the gym if you want to paint you know you can meet people that maybe like to paint um but there will be success you've got success underneath so, I mean, I, I guess that's telling you that new love is coming. It's just have faith and, and, yeah, keep working on you and your power. Take back your personal power. Uh, do something passionate. Make sure you put up your boundaries. Get some self-love. You know, overall, it's not bad a reading. And don't forget that, yeah, your, your people are coming. Your person, I mean. Like, I'm not saying people. Your person. Your person is coming. It's just right around the corner. As I said, okay, well, anyway, that's the reading for Leo again. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and I hope it resonates um, with you. If it does, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, comment as well. I'd love to read your comments. Tell me what you think. Um, and, yeah, I will catch you probably with the weekly reading. Okay, bye.